Hello, I'm Crazy Ball Dead from Headbanger Records. Welcome to my apartment, which is also my studio. So I discovered live, uh, I think it was in 2003, through a friend of mine who told me there was this uh, application that was able to play any audio file at any tempo and could stretch it in real time. So that got me really excited and I decided to have a look. And then when uh, with Live 4 the MIDI arrived in uh, the application, then I completely switched to, to Live to use it as my only application for music making. Basically I use Live for everything, uh, obviously for playing live. Uh, I've got a special set for that, uh, which mainly uses uh, the session view. But I also use it for all my productions, uh, including my uh, forthcoming album, The Be Sweet, which will be released in uh, April uh, 2009. And uh, that was uh, kind of a challenge because uh, the, the projects were really big as the, the album is uh, four movements of uh, 12 minutes, roughly. And so each movement uh, contains about 50 to 70 tracks. And uh, my computer is not such a big computer, but uh, I managed to, to have all these tracks playing simult simultaneously and uh, no audio choking, nothing. Uh, everything was flawless. Something's in the air. When the moon is out and shining, a change occurs in me and suddenly. I use quite a lot of um, Ableton instruments, especially Operator, which is a great synth, and um, Analog as well. Uh, this, I've got a, a Moog, but uh, I still use Operator because it's so easy to to access it in uh, in live. The autumn leaves stop flying, and the gentle dance inspires me. In conjunction with uh, Ableton Live, I've got this uh, machine from uh, Native Instruments. It's a cool little uh, little toy. I've got obviously a um, uh, master keyboard. I've got this uh, Korg MS2000, which I really like. It's able to do harsh sounds. And even better is the Moog Voyager. That's uh, really nice sounding. And my good old uh, Fender Rhodes, which is maybe one of the first uh, instruments I bought uh, about uh, 15 years ago. Something I really like to do is uh, going from straight beats to triplets. And I, w I wanted to, to be able to do it in real time. So I made this uh, special thing where I have uh, two tracks that are feeding another track. These two tracks are playing MIDI events and um, the other track it contains the MIDI instruments. I've got one track, one track playing one straight beat, the other track playing a triplet beat and with one button I can, I can mute or unmute the tracks. So I can basically go from uh, straight beat to triplets anytime I want. So let me check it out. So there's this basic beat and I just push this button and it goes into triplets. That's something I find really cool. Uh, about Live 8, the, the forthcoming release, uh, it's going to be a really great one. I'm looking forward to uh, being able to use it uh, for productions and uh, live. Lots of uh, features that were well, missing have been implemented, like the, the groove feature, which is great. The, the looper is amazing. The group tracks, the crossfades, the, all of it. The application is has got almost everything it needs. No, everything else will be like cherry on top of the of the cake. Yo, crazy. The Ableton means really something special to me because uh, a few years ago, I think it was uh, 2005. They invited me to visit them in Berlin as a present because uh, I did pretty. I, I got pretty involved in the in the beta testing of uh, Life 4 and Life 5, I think. 
So yeah, the gesture they invited me to Ber in Berlin to visit them for three days with a couple of uh, other guys, and we really had a good time and meeting such nice people is always uh, something nice and feeling that we are on the the same wavelength and uh, they want to make stuff for musicians and for us to enjoy uh, their products. It's really amazing. Uh, I love Ableton and I mean it. <laughs> <laughs> 